Okay, friends. So let's get a firm grip of what we've got. We've got this egg. Okay, now I'm just going to call it this egg of sin or this egg of rebellion because that's what it is. It's the introduction of the light bearer into this world, that of wisdom and knowledge. Now, let's not let this escape your minds that we have the ultimate connection. This is King Solomon. Now you see the two columns at Solomon's temple that you can research from Chronicles. It's telling you the same thing. 69 as above so too below and then you see the significance the exalted point of cancer what we read here then you see the same thing but it's minus the columns now it's being symbolized to Solomon and then we see the same thing this etheric dimension because as above we're talking the heavens to the so too below now this is into the material realm now that's exactly what this says into the material world that's what this whole thing is symbolizing it's the same event that's what this whole thing is symbolizing it's the same event that's what this whole thing is symbolizing it's the same event technically that's what this is symbolizing it's the same event as you see here this is as above and now we see so to below to the winter solstice it is no accident my friends that this is right here before the eve of the switchover before 2012 and it's no accident that we have a perfect as above with the connection of the ingress of cancer and then cancer itself being exalted at the summer solstice which is going to put us at a key date for two events one to take place in June, the other to take place in July. Now, as far as what this information says to us right here, we're going to see the second cup should be in June. And then the arrival of the locust should be in July, which is aligning itself up with cancer, which is symbolically, symbolically representing the ushering in of this eventuation of this being here so very important to understand the second cup if you want to know anything about that it's on many of my videos it's the symbolic destruction of commercial Babylon and it's going to be centerized or centralized about around New York City so by this information so far that's what it's saying June and then the arrival of the locust will be right after it and it should be in July aligned with cancer now it's no coincidence that remember the locusts are supposed to hurt men for five months look what we go to here the as above as above so too below this is at at about the five month period now it could go one month back for either scenario the second cup or the arrival of the locust which would put the event for the arrival of the Antichrist, which should be at the end of the five month period of this false doctrine of locust. Now I want you to see that that's exactly what the Bible says. The Bible tells us in Revelation that these locusts shall come up out of the bottomless pit. Now we begin to see the exalted point of cancer, which is representing these emissaries of this etheric life into the material world. Now we see the exaltation of cancer that's being used symbolically by the Masons to say that. Well, then the Bible says that they're going to have power for five months. Here's our perfect five months, my friends. Now remember, we can go back within a month either way, and that puts us at exactly December 21st, 2012, which is the end of the 13th Bakhtun, which is the end of the 26,000 year completion of the Zodiac Cycle, which is the end of the completion of One World Age, which is the end of the completion of the 70 generations times 72 of the biblical representation of Azazel being bound. And it's the same representation that we have of the binding of the Pleiades and the Orion, of which you yourself just saw being exalted. I'll be back.